Trying to put forward uh, male figures, Tim Walls being one of them, uh, Doug Emhoff last night, who um, can speak to men out there who um, might not be the sort of testosterone laden, you know. For me, the Democratic Party emasculates black men. And I think Hispanic men probably feel the same way. And I say this because they weaponize identity. Well, it looks like that's been confirmed. Angela Stanton put everybody on alert. After Roland made a mistake on his live stream and exposed himself, he was on a Labor Day stream from his personal laptop. And after playing a clip of Kamala's CNN interview, he made a mistake and showed another clip that was on his computer of a man with no clothes on that man's behind fully exposed. Angela Stanton recorded that clip before Roland was able to edit it out. And she wrote this right here. She said, Democrat Roland Martin forgot to edit this clip. We were all forced to watch his love and admiration for black male behinds as they casually scrolled across the screen. I told y'all in a post I wrote a few weeks back that 90% of the men I know that still represent or support the Democrat party are gay. Watch how mad he gets when he finds out it aired. How much more proof do you need? It's time to save our men and boys. So Angela, she posted that. I won't be showing that video here, but if you want to see it for whatever reason, the link is below. Now, it definitely wasn't lost on me that almost all of the black Democrat defense team, if they're male, they come off very feminine. They talk like females, their mindset is like a female, and that's who the Democrats keep pushing in front of us to tell us what to do. These feminine men like Roland Martin, Bakari Sellout, Van Jones, Don Lemon, Ricky Smiley, D.O. Hughley, and any other black man they prop up to supposedly represent the black community or be the pretend leader. He's either flaming hot like Billy Porter or undercover flaming like Andrew Gillum. It's always one or the other. For years now, the Democrat Party made a major push for strong independent women to lead the party and to be followed by docile emasculated men like Van Jones and Roland Martin. They want to take women's femininity away and everything that comes with womanhood and give that to men. You know, like Tim Walls putting tampons in the boys' bathrooms in his state. The Democrats are attempting to redefine masculinity as they target and destroy any sign of manhood in men. There has been a lot of talk about masculinity and MAGAism trying to own masculinity in the most regressive sort of misogynist way possible. J.D. Vance lecturing everybody on, you know, what a family means, what it means to be a man. Donald Trump obviously has his own version of manhood. To see Tim Walls out there as a man who is just joyfully embracing his role as the vice potential vice president mm. to the woman, the nation's first female president is an extraordinary thing. But also to see his son weeping for his father in a deeply tender and emotional way. And then the last thing I'll say, because I think this hasn't been talked about enough, to see Democrats champion men as voices on reproductive choice. Yeah. And, and by the way, and, and I love that you're saying that because yes. this is about modern masculinity. Yes. Yeah. And in the Democratic Party, I understand that Zesty Rolanda Martin, I understand that Zesty Rolanda Martin, I understand Zesty Rolanda Martin, who I got kicked off of News One Now for hating, his views dropped and he got dropped. When Zesty Rolanda Martin had me on News One Now with his panel of coons, after that showing, the Dr. Umar Ifatunde support base, Germaniac Nation, the Ifatunde acts, boycotted Roland Martin's show on News One Now. They, his views dropped and they dropped him. Zesty Rolanda, Zesty Rolanda fell off after he tried to come for the Prince of Pan-Africanism. His views dropped and News One Now dropped that receding hairline no neck negro i'ma deal with rolanda when i get back to the states after panama i'ma deal with zesty rolanda i'ma deal with that democratic party plantation slave driver when i get back from panama but i'm not going to deal with zesty rolanda right now i'm not going to deal with zesty rolanda right now i'ma deal with zesty rolanda a little bit later I'm going to deal with Zesty Rolanda a little bit later. Okay? Okay? Now, I see Vlad put up another clip with Mav Hoffa with my name in the clip. 
I don't think that he I don't think that was uh respectful of him to try to use that brother to try to uh attack me, but I see he put my name in another Mav Hoffa clip. I'm gonna check out the clip and respond if I need to. I'm gonna check out the clip and respond if I need to, but I respect the brother Mav Hoffa because Vlad tried to pull him in. He was about to go for the bait for a minute. He was about to take the bait for a minute, but then he pulled back. So I can respect him on that. I heard the Democratic Republic of the Congo to airlift Palestinian refugees to the Congo. I'm talking to my Congolese Africans right now. I'm talking to my Congolese Africans right now. Can somebody help me understand why the Congolese government would even consider bringing Palestinian refugees into the Congo. Can somebody help me overstand, understand, and understand? Can somebody help me understand, overstand, and understand why the Congolese government would consider bringing Palestinian refugees to the Congo? I'm against it for three reasons. I'm not against the Palestinians getting refuge. I'm not against the Palestinians getting refuge. I'm against the Palestinians getting refuge in the Congo. Number one, number one, Arabs are racist against African people. Arabs are racist against African people. We cannot have Palestinians coming to the Congo mistreating African people. That's number one. Number two, they will be weaponized by the Arab power structure. They will be weaponized by the Arab power structure to gentrify the land and occupy the resources. They will be weaponized by the Arab power structure to gentrify the land and weaponize the resources against indigenous Congolese Africans. Against indigenous Congolese Africans. Against indigenous Congolese Africans. So I'm not supporting that. I'm not supporting that. I am not supporting Palestinian refugees coming to the Congo that is not going to end well for Africa if we if we allow that to happen in 20 years if we allow Israel to force the Congolese government if we allow Israel to force the Congolese government to airlift Palestinian refugees to the Congo the richest piece of land on the planet earth the richest piece of land on the planet earth if we allow arabs to come into the congo in 25 years what do you think the congo will look like in 25 years what do you think the congo will look like in 25 years what do you think the congo will look like the arabs will colonize the congo this is an arab power structure initiative this is nothing but the Arab power structure. Why can't they take them to Dubai? Why can't they go to the United Arab Emirates? Why can't they go to Morocco or Egypt? Why can't they go to any of, why can't they go to Iran or Iraq or Kuwait? Why do Palestinian refugees need to come to the richest continent on the face of the, excuse me, the richest country on the richest continent on the face of the earth I vote no 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 I am totally against it I want them to get refuge don't get me wrong brothers and sisters we wish goodwill on all human beings I want the Palestinians who need safety and security to be airlifted out of Palestine to safety and security, but they need to go to an Arab state. They need to go to an Arab country. They cannot come to the Congo. That is nothing but economic strategy by the Arab nations trying to get Arabs in the Congo so they can start robbing and stealing the land and the resources. I am against it. I also heard that there was supposed to be a, a lecture event in Ghana Featuring the former AU ambassador, Empress Arikana, and the good brother PLO Lumumba, and Julius Malema, and a brother from Nigeria. They were supposed to be speaking in Ghana 
this weekend, yesterday, tomorrow, I don't know the date, but recently they were supposed to speak in Ghana and allegedly the president of Ghana canceled the event. Next time y'all need to have the Prince of Pan-Africanism on the lineup. Next time y'all need to have the Prince of Pan-Africanism on the lineup. No disrespect. But if you're having a meeting of the minds with African leadership and you don't have the Western Hemisphere represented, it's not complete. You African brothers and sisters on the continent, don't be chauvinistic Pan-Africanists. Don't be bougie Pan-Africanists. Don't be elitist Pan-Africanists. Don't be discriminatory Pan-Africanists. If y'all having a Pan-African meeting of the minds and you don't have Dr. Umar Ifatunde on the lineup to represent the interests of Pan-Africanists in the Western world, then that program was incomplete anyway. You can quote me. You can tell her and you can tell them. I'm going to say it again. Why wasn't the diaspora represented on that four-person lineup? I'm asking the question. Brother Malema, Brother PLO Lumumba, Empress Arikana, and my brother from Nigeria, why wasn't the diaspora represented in Ghana for that program? Why wasn't the diaspora represented? I should have been on that lineup. Why was I not? Y'all excluding me? Y'all discriminating against Dr. Umar? Y'all discriminating against the Caribbean? Y'all discriminating against Central American Africans and South American Africans and Canadian Africans and American Africans? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. And if y'all believe I should not have been there, I welcome a debate with any one of you on the future of Pan-Africanism. If y'all believe that the American Pan-Africanist, if y'all believe the Western Hemisphere, because I'm representing the entire Western Hemisphere, from the Caribbean to the South American Africans, my Central American Africans, my Caribbean Africans, my Canadian Africans, I'm representing the whole West. My American Africans, why wasn't I invited to that? Why did y'all leave out the diaspora? Why did y'all leave out the Western Hemisphere? I'm talking to Empress Arikana. I'm talking to Julius Malema. I'm talking to PLO Lumumba. I'm talking to the brother from Nigeria. Why was the diaspora not represented in that lineup y'all had in Ghana? I'm talking to all four y'all. I'm talking to all four y'all. Why wasn't the diaspora represented? I'm talking to all four y'all. And don't get cute with your response because I will challenge you to a debate in your country. Don't get cute with the response. I will challenge you to a debate in your own country. Don't get cute with the response. Why wasn't the diaspora represented? Why wasn't the diaspora represented? Why wasn't the pan-Africanists of the Western Hemisphere represented? We back to that chauvinistic continental pan-Africanism. Are we back to that chauvinistic continental pan-Africanism? Are we back to that chauvinistic continental pan-Africanism? Don't play with me. Don't nobody want to smoke with the prince of pan-Africanism. Don't nobody want to smoke with the prince of pan-Africanism. But once again, brothers and sisters, hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. Where are my Jamaican African queens at? How do I look at my Jamaican hoodie? Where my Jamaican African queens at? My Jamaican African queens, where y'all at? My Jamaican African queens in the United Kingdom. My Jamaican African queens in the United States. My Jamaican African queens on the island of Jamaica. Do I look good in my Jamaican colors? Do I look good in my... I'm talking to the queens right now. Beta males behave. Do I look good in the, in, in the Jamaican flag right now? The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. Somebody tell Cat Williams him and Dr. Umar need to do a comedy and consciousness tour. Somebody tell Cat Williams you and Dr. Umar need to do a comedy and consciousness tour. We will break the internet. We will break the market. We will break the bank. We will break it all. This is not the, uh, I'm, you know, I don't, I don't hate nobody. I don't hate nobody, but I don't do the zest. I don't do the zest. Okay, I do honey pot, honey dip. I do shango stick honey dip over here. No disrespect to nobody, but I'm about to shango stick honey dip over here. 
I'm about them brown bunnies, them sweet brown bunnies, them cinnamon bunnies. I'm about them nutmeg bunnies, them sweet almond bunnies, them butter pecan bunnies. I'm about the shango stick and a honey dip. I'm about the shango stick and a shango stick and a honey dip. I love the black queens. We talking about it tonight. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never on the Hartley Initiated podcast tonight. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never on the Hartley Initiated podcast tonight. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never on the Hartley Initiated. Shout out to my man Chad Ocho Cinco. I ran into him at the airport. Shout out to Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. We might be related. I ran into my brother Chad Ocho Cinco in the Atlanta airport this afternoon. 